Starting today, police in Minneapolis will no longer investigate or arrest anyone that uses magic mushrooms and similar hallucinogenic plants. Lou Raguse talked with Mayor Jacob Fry about his decision. Magic mushrooms, the hallucinogenic fungus often taken as a recreational drug, is illegal in Minnesota. But thanks to an executive order signed Friday by Mayor Jacob Fry, Minneapolis will no longer seek to enforce personal use. Obviously, there's a stigma attached to entheogenic plants. But if you look at the research, you look at what the science has been saying, it's largely all pointed in one direction, which is that there are people that can benefit from the properties associated with an entheogenic plant. Fry says he met with scientists and researchers a year ago who pointed to the potential of mushrooms to treat people suffering from PTSD, depression, and anxiety. The Minnesota legislature, with bipartisan sponsors, considered legalizing mushrooms and other psychedelics as they did recreational marijuana. They did not legalize psychedelics this time around, so Mayor Fry did the closest thing within his power, an executive order that deprioritizes enforcement. He acknowledges it already wasn't a high priority for Minneapolis police. This was already a low-level priority. It wasn't like large numbers of people were getting arrested for mushrooms. Yes, that's absolutely the case. The order does not legalize commercial sale by drug dealers or allowing possession at schools. The executive order is an exercise of power the mayor didn't have prior to the last city election, but now in the strong mayor system, he can direct the daily operations of the city. What this executive order lays out is, is my expectations as mayor. Now, several other U.S. cities have done the same thing, including Denver, Seattle, and San Francisco. I reached out to some groups that I thought might be opposed to this move, but none wanted to provide a statement today. Chris. All right. Thank you, Lou. Mm -hmm.